Hey guys, and welcome to Restart Checkpoint. You're back with Kenzo. Uh, today's mission is Fallen Angel on our Black Ops 2 playthrough. Um, it's a future mission, so we're back in 2025 um, playing as David Mason. Um, right, so you've got Fareed here, who is uh, he's working with us. Uh, I think he's he's um in like Menendez is in a circle. So he's a uh, he's our mole, as it were. Today's mission is where the shit is it? It's in Pakistan, I think it is. What do you say we blow up a little steam, huh? Throw a few punches first. Come on, go suffer with me. Oh. What did you just say? Go suffer what? Lashes. I'm kidding. Die. I know I was kidnapped the night my father died, but I... You never see. It was Menendez. Did he kill my father? Who knows, man? Who knows? Okay, okay. You know Woods raised me after my father died, right? But Woods always told me there was just some nut who did it, some thrifter. So in this mission, um... The hell's going on? What do we do? We go to Pakistan and we are... We're infiltrating... Infiltrating a facility... Which, like, creates drones... As I said, I'd mentioned before about the whole drone race, and that's like a, a big deal. They created this. Rosefina. The night your father will die. Oh. What an unpleasant fellow. This is a, a a new, obviously a new weapon in um, in the Call of Duty series. We haven't seen this type of machine before, which is a drone. Look at it; it's a beast. They're called claws, and this one is known as Maximus. Armed with a minigun on the top, flamethrower, uh, grenades. Um, they're pretty much walking tanks. So uh, later on in the game, in fact, I think in this mission actually, you um, you can take control of them, which is just insane. Here you can see me. Um, you can uh, target target enemies with that blue light, and they will shoot at them, whatever you're aiming at. I'm fairly sure later in the game um, the enemy has got them as well. So it's a bit of a nightmare. Freaking drone. You can see there, there's the, uh, the claws flamethrower. This is awfully flooded. For, um, you know, an old street. I'm wondering what's actually gone on here. Season. This guy is hiding everywhere. Without this, um, without this scope, I wouldn't have been able to actually see half of them. I mean, just look at it.
just amazing how how little there is actually to talk about with with these games. I can't tell you how much fun I had playing it, but doing a commentary on it is just you know. If you're wondering why I'm uh, silent as the grave. Oh. So it's a friggin' bus. Spinning. And off it goes. That was a close one, huh? I still got my balls. How about you? Let's go. Anthem's just up the way. Come on. Anthem is the um the name of the drone factory. Which is what that is there. At this point I was like, are you gonna go? But it turns out I have to go first. You gonna go through that door? No? Okay. I wonder why I'm called Section. Oh, I just shot some civilian. They are insanely strong. Here, the flies. Stay left. I had to cut it there. I had died. I was stood right. like right there. Keep looking the wrong fucking way. Oh, got another one. Which is this one here? Okay. Go. Into points beyond the building at the end of the street. You ready? Ready when you are. Let's go. Move before it sees you. No, you just peg it. You just told us to go, man. Fuck, you gotta go. And now we're going to the collapsing building, which seems really wise. Indeed. Now at this point, the hoppers just asked me to take out someone, right? I'm getting him into my sights. I'm like, yeah, let's just get a bead on him. And he does it. And then he has the cheek to say that. You massive dick. And now uh, the sewers. As if this day could get any worse. Monitor the area. Keep me updated. I don't know what this room is for because there's nothing in it. Salazar, the ISI have taken delivery of some new sock teeth near your position. I have no idea who the ISI are. Admiral, we're in position. 
And here is Briggs. So what we're aiming to do now is uh, covertly record a conversation between Menendez and this leader guy. Changed his tune, didn't it? The rooftop will give us a better vantage point to locate Menendez. Secure ropes. Nifted a little bit of kit. Looks like we're on the right track. Go. Take the one on the right. On your go. There you go. Hey, section. Ready with the scanner? Here's my scanner. And that, I believe, is Menendez there. Isn't it? The city crumbles around us, but the government That's pretends like that everything is Menendez, yeah. control. They care nothing for the suffering of their people. Neither do the Americans. He doesn't sound he doesn't sound Nicaraguan. They care. They care for their own interests. He sounds he sounds tired. Believe me, my friend. Your help will ensure the complacency of the Imperialists comes to an end. But we're out of range. They're moving out of range. Can't get a clear signal. Come on. We'll find a better vantage point. Stay out of the spotlight, man. Talking about the down drone. Of Chinese involvement in the region. Could they know you just met with Chen Zhao? The Americans are always watching me. They know even less than they think they do. We are always watching. Damn it. They're moving out of range again. Let's go. So that's good. Get him. Slice him like salami. Oh. That. Oh, no, you can just, just wipe it off. Like he's meeting someone else. DeFalco. Uh, DeFalco is his um, uh, right hand man, I'd say, probably. After today's agreement, everything is now in place. He's kind of crazy. Indeed. He will meet you in Peshawar, northern Pakistan. Asegúrate que toda la inteligencia relacionada al dron esté disponible antes de nuestra próxima discusión. I will handle it personally. Buen fortuna, De Falco. Good luck, De Falco. I'm assuming that was what that was. <coughs>
In here. Now we can't lose Menendez. Ah, damn it, we're about to go. Salazar, we've lost Menendez near your position. Can you eyeball him? God, he's using the train your south side. Did you secure transport for evac? Not yet. Area's a little too hot. Stay on it. Just load them up. And nobody is the wiser. Okay, so come on, train yard this way, let's go. We are heading towards the train yard now. I think we need uh one last piece of intel. Which we're about to get. So you can see a drone. Extracting the central computer is not a simple task. A series of security barriers are directly linked to the unit's self-destruct mechanism. Such things are not a concern. The meeting on June 17th will resolve any remaining barriers to our success. But that train is ruining it. Ain't getting anything else with that train in the way. Let's move. At one point in time, the CIA had interrogation rooms like this all over the world. All of them was geared towards some sort of psychological manipulation. God knows the kind of shit that went down back then. So now we Looks head like down. Get wet again. Oh yoy. Head into the water here. <coughs> I shit myself when that happened. <laughs> I fucking jacked myself. <laughs> so why did that happen when I did it, but not when Harper did it? <laughs> so I they believe. Right above us. Okay, let's just try this. Us here. Of course. Is Menendez. Not only am I aware of the infiltration. Infiltration? I engineered it. Oh. God. Damn. He's on to a section. So fuck. Get in. Isn't that beautiful? Shit. So now they know we're here. Menendez, being the genius that he is, clearly orchestrated the whole thing. So pretty fucked. So now remains the problem of getting out. I think we can take control of our good friend Brutus. So here he is. Oh, look at what what is this? Suckers! Yeah! So he's just doing a bit of crowd control. Just um, his minigun. Right 
And I think Maximus has got Overwatch. So there's a drone which is looking at us. Are we going to shoot that down? And now just take out these dudes. Just aim at cars, just everything. Beautiful. I think we can nearly get out. So if we hightail it out of here, we're going to have ourselves an epic chase scene. Which is actually our drone, so I don't know why we're shooting that. So we're piloting the drone here. Uh, below us is, well, not at this moment, but in, in a moment we all have our jeeps zooming beneath us, and we've got to defend them against uh, all kinds of shit. So we just clear the way, and now we drive. I'm trying to think what the next mission is. Um, the next mission is Karma, where we head to a magical floating city, and we hear some. Oh, we hear some kick-ass Skrillex. So, if you're wondering what I mean, uh, stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> Not really, I, I can't believe how many tries this um, this section took me to do. It's absolutely ridiculous. I had to repeat it about five or six times. Absolute nightmare. So many enemies to shoot. This is a ridiculously manoeuvrable uh, 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 helicopter. Oh, and we're down. Now here we've got a bit where there's loads of fire. You'll see it up ahead, and the first time I did this level, I drove through the fire, which basically burns half of Harper's face off. So I deliberately made the effort to go round the fire, and I think I get a trophy here for that act of kindness. Wait, yay! He good looking. Oh shit! Now what? Okay. Whoa. Hey. So Take I think that easy. pretty much wraps this mission up. Denzel. 
He fought alongside um, my father in Afghanistan. Oh, this is Chan Zhao, no who was the with Chinese guy in uh, Old in Wounds that we fought with. He somehow survived. Then Good for him. Anyway, um, but thanks no for watching again, guys. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, you and really we will really see you uh, in the next mission, Karma, probably within the next day or so. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Let's go!